Seabus. All right, it's Gary from LawnAeration.com again. So we're out here, uh, second stop, and we're still out demoing this uh, this Stinger aerator. Um, so I figured this would be a good chance to get a little bit of action on the hills. This property over here has definitely a lot of hill potential. So we're gonna go over here and you know give it a try, shoot some video on these hills. Now see how we go. We've already done a complex with it this morning, so we're gonna go down here, give a little test and see what the capabilities are on some uh, side hills and some uphills and things like that. Let's check out the stability. So I decided to do a little bit of voiceover in this video since I was operating the machine, I couldn't give you guys too much commentary. Um, a couple things to keep in mind with this as you're watching it is uh, this is still a prototype demo unit. So there's still some work that's going to be done on these aerators. Uh, on this property, uh, what you can't really tell in the video is it's pretty wet when we filmed this. Uh, so I was trying to be pretty gentle and tread lightly, operate the machine a bit slower than I normally would. As usual, the slopes uh, in a video don't look nearly as steep as they really are or as big uh, because they're on camera. These things are probably at least a 45 degree grade, uh, probably more. Generally, it's uh, more than you're recommended to run a machine on. Uh, I tried to keep it pretty real in the video, uh, that way you could actually hear the engine sounds and I didn't overlay it with any music. Uh, keep watching here later on because I'm going to show you how this is. So coming up right here, you're going to see I attempt to make this hill, uh, but because of the slope, the front wheels come off the ground, I opt to turn around and come back down the side. So what I found on these prototype units is they were really light in the front end. Um, they operated really well and gave great traction to the back wheels. Now I know on the production units they added 30 pounds or more to the front to keep them down a little better. Um, that did help we own a production unit also. Um, and, uh, with the trade-off you do lose a little traction in the back, but I think it's a, it's a good trade-off. You should also consider that some of the chain-driven machines that we run we we'll have trouble navigating these hills because of the tension on the chain. When you go up a steep hill, the chains will want to pop or skip a tooth on the sprockets. And because of the smaller tires, uh, they have a little less traction on doing it. So now I'm going to work this off-camera hillside um, right up and down through here. You can see it's wet in the bottom, so we're trying to stay out the bottom. So anybody that has much experience operating a zero turn aerator or mower will know uh, in a situation like this you always think twice about going down in this ditch. Even though you can't tell by the video, it's very mushy wet in the bottom of that drainage area. Uh, so much so that your feet will sink into the bottom if you were to try to walk across it. Overall, it takes a lot of performance um, and a lot of power uh, to navigate this uh, off camera slope like this. So keep that in mind. As you watch the video, um, also keep in mind that I'm not just driving the machine around, I actually am aerating while I'm doing this. Uh, so whether you can see it or not, there are plugs coming out of the machine. I know that uh, as I get far away, it's hard to tell on that. In contrast, as a side note, we try not to run our chain-driven machines too much on a straight, horizontal, off-camber slope like this. It puts a lot of tension on one side of the chain and we find that uh, we get a lot of popping or um, chain slack uh, on the other side and it's tough on the equipment. Hopefully this video helped show you the capabilities of the Stinger Quad Air 3000 on the hillsides. Watch all the other videos in the series. Make sure you share them and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting them. Let me know what you think.